Okay, so I know I missed the mark on April for my spotlight on comics, but now it's May 1st, and I feel like it's really close, so I'm just going to do it anyways, and you're going to pretend not to notice, right? Yes. Awesome. So today we're going to be talking about Wormwood by Ben Templeton. So Wormwood is a three-volume series put out by IDW and written by Ben Templeton. It came out around 2006, so it's about eight now. Yes, I was going to say, like, is it 18? No, it's eight now. I am awful at math. Um, the three volumes are Wormwood Gentleman Corpse, Wormwood It Only Hurts When I Pee, and Wormwood Calamari Rising. And I give you those titles because I think they give you, like, a flavor for the series immediately. So it's sort of a um, comedy, horror dark fantasy sort of series. I think think maybe Hellboy or Constantine would be the best sort of wheelhouse to put these in. Wormwood is a detective who has a ghost cop friend and a stripper with a tattoo that can attack people. So those, that's sort of his entourage, his core group that he goes around with. And he's just like this cockney guy who happens to be an ancient worm parasite that inhabits a corpse and animates it. So usually he's the gentleman corpse. At one point, you know, he inhabits a little girl. He's been through a bunch of different bodies in his lifetime. He's really, really ancient. Think of him as like the Dax parasite, but with corpses instead of ladies. Why is Dax always in hot ladies on Star Trek? I don't know. I guess not always. Somebody's going to be like, correct me. And like, these are all the bodies that the parasite had. But anyways, this is not about that. This is about comic books. And this is a fantastic book. It is really just, it's a light, fun read. If you want to think about things very deeply, um, this is not the book for you necessarily, but if you want to admire art really deeply, this is definitely the book for you. I first saw this, I was just sort of like browsing one of those BMVs, which are like the big um, remainder bookstores that we have in the Toronto area, and I just picked it up because, A, I like horror comics, and it was sitting near a Hellboy, and I was like, what's this? Because I was picking up everything, and it's just gorgeous, gorgeous art in here. Like, you can see, just, it's sort of sketchy and very tonal, and, and just moody set pieces, and it's really, really phenomenal art. And the nice thing about it, too, is that since Ben Templeton is the sole creator on this, he's both the writer and the artist, he's able to have a very unified vision between what he wanted to say and what he wrote down, because quite the, it's the same, he's the same guy. He knew what he wanted to say and what he wanted to write down and, and what images he wanted to go with it. So he's created this really, really beautiful thing. And he's also done a great job of constructing a world in sort of a very short frame of time, because three volumes is not a lot for, for complete world building. So as I said, you've got like your little cockney worm and the sort of cases he, he deals with as a detective uh, rely fairly heavy on Lovecraftian fiction. So you've got like a lot of squid monsters and ancient squid gods and stuff, but it also brings in some more traditional um, Gaelic Celtic myths. So you have, you know, the, the fairies with the horns sort of thing and, and there's leprechauns that are being chained up as pets and it's it's really a nice twist on thing that ye old acid company appears at one point it's just fun so it's it's well written in as far as laughs but it's very simple and it's it's not a lot of dialogue or text so you can get through them really quickly they're quick reads but they're super enjoyable to reread several times and to admire the art and each volume is actually really um, nicely bound itself they sort of have these ooh, they're embossed on the front and then they all have um, a big section at the back with all sorts of cover art and sketch art and stuff in them that, that um, is from Ben Templeton, which I think is fantastic. And all the panels. So they're, they're nice books to have in collected editions. They're still available, even though it's an older series, in French and English. Canadian people, oh yes. Or just other French and English speaking people that have... Does anybody else have those as two national languages? I don't know. I don't do geography. I'm sorry. But just a really, really fun series and something that's that's not heavy but is thoroughly enjoyable. And I just wanted to give it a little spotlight shout out because I was going through my comic book collection and I was like, oh my gosh, Wormwood. And I remembered it fondly and then I took it out and read it. Uh, so so give it a look. It's just like Wormwood as a, in having a creepy little girl corpse. So it's both as is, it's a very macabre humor. It's very dark humor. So if you're into dark humor, like this, this is a great book for you to try out. And uh, yeah, that's that's Wormwood. That's super. And uh, don't forget, 
Also, if you like to try new things with no personal risk and want to try out some new indie comics, today, not today, Saturday, <laughs> May 3rd, is Free Comic Book Day. So go to your local comic book store and get free comic books because they're free and you can try all sorts of new things. And also great with Free Comic Book Day, um, places, publishers like Dark Horse and stuff do it online as well. So if you don't have a free comic book um, day location in your area, like if you don't have a comic book store, you can just go online and download some free comic books and, and read those and enjoy them. So do it. Check it out. If you're not going to read Wormwood, which you probably should, at least go and read some free comics coming out from these companies and find something that you might enjoy. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye.